Hi Virgos, thank you so much for joining me here for another reading and I have a funny story to open this one up with. So, you know, when you're a child and you have a wild imagination and you get to see all the things that your imagination can do, like if you only knew the amount of things that your imagination could do. And uh, you guys have mastered the art of a quantum leap right now, which is basically you guys tapping into that imagination and mm, nourishing that creative aspect of your mind and knowing that it's just a preview of life's upcomings. And that's how you are able to put yourself in a frame vibrationy. So that's what the reading is going to be about today. Like, what are you manifesting? What was it that you were kind of like feeling in regards to the future that you wanted? It's like you were living in that frame vibrationally. And it's like a form of like quantum teleportation, right? Uh, which actually came on today on a message which is interesting and uh, basically the story that I wanted to tell when I was a child um, came from me seeing this picture frame that I relate this uh, specific memory in regards to so in my old childhood house it we had used to have these stairs from the top floor and they would curve at the bottom and there used to be this wall with a beautiful picture frame of like this forest and I remember there's like two specific occasions where <laughs> I'm actually remembering the second one now as we speak which is quite funny I'll talk about the first one first because the second one's a little bit more wild it's just like a quick like funny story but it, it's it's I had the idea down right it's just the execution was not you know I had limitations of the anatomical body and and uh, not realizing that it's a thinking consciousness that continues down that linear path to travel to the other dimensions right that are accessible to you and a lot of you are traveling to those other dimensions but you're realizing again where like you had limits and restrictions that were keeping you tied down to a specific realm or set of circumstances or a connection to a person place or thing so anyway, um, I remember my mo mother gave me some apple juice and it had like elder flower um, in it. And I was like, mom, like, and I was a child, like really young. And I was like, mom, like this apple juice tastes so good. Like, so, so good. And I'm like, what's different about this, like compared to other ones? And she said, you know, just playing into it. She said, oh, well, you know, the trees in this forest and the photo here, um, that's where the apples are from and they have special like you know come to find out years later that wasn't the case but it was almost like you were falling in love with the illusion of the idea of a specific set of circumstances and the experience that could give you and if you could only go there or if you could only make something happen or you know how would that change your current set of circumstances you would have a limitless supply of you know whatever it could be unconditional love or you know value or self-worth or you know whatever it was that you were kind of seeking externally that you were able to provide yourself within the whole time so yeah and uh, the second story was like so I had a wild, wild imagination. I still do. But back then, um, I was, I tried to jump. So there was times where I tried to, like, I would literally slam into the wall, like, fully, like, jump, like, thinking, you know, go, I'm going to a back to the future moment and, like, trying to literally jump through the major frame. And um, I remember once I jumped from the top flight of stairs thinking that, well, I, I'm just not doing it hard enough. Like, I'm just not. So some of you are, like, forcing that. You're like, well, were you, or you found yourself forcing that and you kept hitting a wall quite literally in a situation and it wasn't going anywhere and it's because you needed to change your strategy or approach uh, to something because again there was something that was limiting or restricting you maybe it was your belief system and maybe it was just like your plan of execution to making something happen and it was realizing that before you can go to external places you have to be able to allow the universe to take you to an internal place and a lot of you that is through quantum you know time manipulation so it is going to be through putting yourself in that frame vibrationally and when I say that I mean you know you can leverage as a quantum being and actually send out those signals by feeling the emotion of your future before it comes so that you're ready to receive it in the now so that you're ready to embody that in your very vessel and also using your pineal gland again the imagination and knowing that creativity spark is the most important one and that actually sends out a signal where you can start to pick up on things in the quantum field and the quantum field brings what is in resonance to you so again a lot of you will have mastered the art of doing that and that's why you might like 
I did that quantum leap and you guys have stepped into this new reality that you're now experiencing. So yeah, that was like a visual representation of what Spirit was showing me in regards to that. Um, but yeah, um, that's basically what was going on. You know, again, you're jumping into picture frames, you're preparing yourself vibrationally to jump into a new frame of life so that it can appear beneath your feet and you don't have to seek uh you know this experience externally from whatever it is that you're manifesting so anyway that's what we're going to talk about today like what are you actually calling in and attracting like what frame is virgo visualizing for themselves and um you know how are they leveraging as a quantum being during this time so i was actually being guided to open this reading up with your astrological theme and just see kind of what's going on in regards to this next frame that you guys are stepping into you And it's like the law of correspondence, right? Where it's like, as above, so below, as within, so without. It's like the power of the mind. Like, again, look at all the things that your imagination can do as in the heavens, so on the earth. It's like it happens in the higher realms. It happens in the metaphysical realms. It happens in invisible, unseen forms before it can actually be anchored down and become a physical, tangible experience for you guys. Because, again, things do move in a slower, denser form. And sometimes, you know, in our anatomical body, again... The thinking consciousness wants to extend beyond down that linear path. Everything is vibrating in that superposition. So the first law of quantum physics is there is no boundary between matter and energy. And it can act when measured as something that is vibrating here and also over there. So if something that you don't like in regards to your reality in the here and now and you're envisioning something that's happening over there... Well, how can you make that shift? How can you go there instead of here? And how can you align your actions accordingly to follow through with that intention to go over there with that action? You know, if that makes sense. Uh, anyway, we have a time of celebration, success and fun. So again, Sun and Neo, all about that inner child. This is about creativity. So a lot of you, this is actually restoring like that hope and faith in life and all the things that again your imagination can do you know you've got children actually having the time of their life here and enjoying the present moment knowing that happiness is going to be a state of being which is how you choose to react to circumstances um and how you choose to deal with them so yeah a lot of you again this can also be fifth house energy so this could be something romantic maybe it's something creative in regard to life maybe it's just getting that flair of creativity back this is about the sun as well so this is about you guys just feeling that life force and vitality kind of coursing through your veins here feeling like you're taking more control uh, over your purpose destiny and fate and again you guys putting yourself in that frame vibrationally and leveraging as a quantum being is a fourth dimensional experience where you start to again like have woven things in the metaphysical realm and that will eventually be anchored down into a three-dimensional experience and then you start seeing the power of like the fifth dimension where you have the tesseract and the dimensions are stacked upon each other and you can literally move through dimensions quite effortlessly there. And we have a change in your emotional life with Moon and Scorpio. So again, a lot of you, this is a transformation when it comes to maybe things that you're romantically attached to, people that you're romantically attached to and that kind of transforming maybe this is pluto like some kind of death and rebirth that's kind of happening there in mars very physical ways and the moon is like you're kind of picking up on this a lot of you are intuitively picking up on this that certain people can't cannot be a pick like cannot fit into that picture frame right they can't fit into that new dimension where these new stories begin to play play out some people are gonna have to be left in the reality that they have chosen for themselves so a lot of you are also understanding that right and that death and that ending is not an end it's just a new beginning in disguise right energy is not created nor destroyed it's only transferred or recycled so it's almost like the the energy transferring from here to there love will always return back around to you in another form whether that comes in another person in another thing love will always return back around to you so a lot of you releasing death with love you're starting to love death itself as it's a glimpse into new dimensions where new stories can begin to play out in your life and we have the moon so again this is you navigating your way quite literally almost like walking in the light of the sun right in the earth realms but following the light of the moon right following the metaphysical realms and almost uh what it is that your intuition is telling you to do so it's like you're being guided by the moonlight while you walk in 
the the daylight if that makes sense and we've got ninth ninth house so you could just be having a whole new world shift and a uh, viewpoint this could be about philosophy this could be you guys preparing to broaden and expand your horizons there's some kind of migration whether it be physically mentally emotionally spiritually for a lot of you um it could be about some kind of spiritual evolution that is happening and you guys evolving onto this next phase step or journey in your life so with that being said let's go ahead and open up with the tarot and just see what it is that you guys are calling in what it is that awaits you on this specific continuum for my virgos let's see what awaits virgos on this path as it unfolds i'm hearing or who awaits Okay, we have the Hermit and the Knight of Swords. So, a lot of you are like, what awaits you on this new on this new journey is progression around how you're actually going to implement the wisdom that you've learned through the past cycle and how that's illuminating a way forward. A lot of you, there's going to be serious, serious progression, especially when it comes to you, like rapid expansion and knowledge of the self okay and also like the esoteric knowledge like a lot of you something could be kind of rapidly yeah like accelerating maybe this to do with your career or other life goals that you've set for yourself but some of you are going to be guided like on this spiritual journey like you're following the river of stars and seas that uh that are leading you towards your destiny and you're gaining clarity in some ways let's see what else is kind of coming through what's this uh hammer some of you are being like led in a particular direction where there's certain people that await you on your path okay we have the devil and the hammer which is really interesting it's kind of playing off the last reading that we did right i'll link that in the description box down below because i think that will come first again a lot of you are healing um and in that process of you doing so everything is becoming clearer and clearer for you like a lot of you are realizing that as you go within and you gain introspection around you dealing with a situation that was keeping you stagnant again what was that limiting force was it your self-limiting beliefs was it the devil that was just instilling doubts into your mind um around you being able to continue down that linear path yeah this is about you extracting wisdom as you were dealing with the devil gatekeeper and this is so funny because literally the reading that i did right before this was literally talking about the shell of the hermit and you guys finding a new home right a new comfort zone instead of falling for the illusion of comfort and the sameness as you dealt with the devil gatekeeper so i feel like this is almost like a part two for this through and through and the hermit is able to release the stories that have played out, okay? And this particular gatekeeper that he's learned a valuable lesson from. And he moves forward. Why is it because of it, okay? Why is it about who he is as an individual? And it's like he knows thyself. And he's no longer living a life based on the illusions that others choose to create for him, okay? So a lot of you, there's almost like some kind of deprogramming that you could be going through. And you're kind of reprogramming almost like your soul and listening to your inner navigation system here. Following that inner compass of the soul. And you're seeing how this kind of particular set of circumstances has really set you up for success. And a lot of you, it's in that healing that you're going to begin to connect with other people. Some of you, what it is that you're manifesting down this continuum is some kind of emotional fulfilling love opportunity creative opportunity this could be on social media there we have the star card or your connection to others your connection to others is going to bring in some kind of lucrative opportunity here that's going to lead to forward momentum and rapid progression either within your career or other life goals that you set for yourself here virgos but your internal wishes and desires will be reciprocated here in the external realm This is about you moving forward in a new direction away from the chaos. Mm -hmm. 
some of you this is new friendships with a star card again new love offers There's something about you getting back out there in the world after a period of isolation okay like again this is someone that keeps you very very isolated maybe for a period in time you wanted to also kind of remain in solitude and just go through some kind of introspection to protect your energy in some ways Yeah, we have death, like really putting an end to this cycle here and seeing death as a glimpse into other, again, dimensions that new stories can begin to play out. And also relating to death a different way. You're seeing death as an opportunity. And again, this is karmic deaths that have been played out and one door closes and a million others open. So a lot of you, there could have been even like an ego death here a death to an old identity, right? It's almost like, again, the hermit sheds the the shell that it once had because it's outgrown it, because it's evolving beyond that. And you're almost like you're finding a new home, a new way to identify yourself. This could be to do with the self, like personal relations, your personal beliefs, attributes. You're seeing that you do have enough stability within to make something work despite the set of circumstances. It's like you're doing the best with the cards that you have been dealt with right now. And not only are you like playing the game well, but you're winning the game with whatever this is. Whether there's winners or losers, but it's like there's some kind of clarity or something that you've become very enlightened to around why an ending took place that makes you feel even more secure, stable in who it is that you are as an individual. And you're unlocking not only your full potential, but you're seeing how capable you are to face what it is that you once feared head on. Like something that you, you you built up like some kind of anticipation around like so, again you're you're changing relationship to death and endings like something that you once probably feared in some respects you're seeing the value of and you're seeing how it can alter the trajectory of your life and again allow you to quite literally make that shift so again this could just be like a death of your approach to something a way of doing something a physical relationship to something belief system and it's really allowing your head and heart to come in union and take control of your purpose destiny and fate here again we have the chariot so this is you guys realizing that your heart maybe needed a little bit more time to accept what your head already knew about somebody or you know vice versa but once that came into alignment there's no stopping you you're not looking back at the past now or this old dimension unless you're admiring how far it is you've come since you've made the jump it would be like at this point the hermit trying to squeeze back into a shell that it's way way outgrown it's like this the snake trying to fit back into the skin that it's just shed right it's like yeah you can take the toothpaste out of the you know pack it and squeeze everything out but try putting it back in is that going to be a simple you know much like a banana like you can peel the skin and try to reverse that you know this is going to be easier to prevent from happening again than trying to reverse it you know you can attempt to you know glue the skin of the banana back on whatever that may be but you know it's going to definitely rot a lot faster and again we have the knight of cups so understanding your innermost needs and desires a lot of you are actually manifesting uh somebody that will be coming towards you this is strong strong water sign energy okay this could be about a romantic offer or just the opportunity to explore um a different side of life okay when it comes to your partnerships to others this could be you experiencing something of a higher octave here virgos for a lot of you there with two of cups again this could be some kind of partnership that you have again the strong strong cancerian um and uh, Pisces, Scorpio energy there with the Knight of Cups too, or just someone that has un understood their innermost needs and desires and is also very compassionate to others. This is somebody that wears their heart on their sleeve. Like everything that you lacked from the situational circumstance and the devil is not able to give you, you're going to be receiving that tensfold. And then some for your troubles. Again, you're realizing that you're seeing the like blessing in disguise as you dealt with the situation that was very like uh could have been overly controlling of you and you're taking your power back okay especially when it comes to the things that you do want to work on and build up this led to a huge level up in your life some of you are super ambitious and driven to reach some kind of milestones that you've set for yourself 
and this biggest what seemed like a inconvenience at the time is the universe's biggest invitation towards your new life so yes Virgos hopefully you enjoyed this reading hopefully it gave you a clarification or insight that you needed during this time uh take a look at your other readings on my second channel that's going to be linked in the description box down below personal resources down below if you're not already subscribed to this channel and want to stick on for future reads you can consider subscribing but until next time Virgos bye